Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola with MyGolfInstructor.com, and today I'm here with our fitness expert from Elevated Performance, Jeff Palazzaro. And Jeff, today we're going to discuss a variation of the traditional push-up called a decline push-up. So tell us how that can help a golfer with their swing, and what muscles does it target differently than a traditional push-up? Perfect. The, uh, the decline push-up is um, just a, a harder way to do a push-up. So basically you're putting your feet up on an elevated box or chair or something, so you're in more of a decline position. What that does is it ends up targeting a little bit more of the upper chest and shoulders, so it works on a lot of stability uh, through those areas. Uh, the reason I love it is it's a way to make your push-up harder, so especially for those people that don't have a lot of equipment at home or they're looking for different ways to vary their program, right. it's another way to just kind of add a little bit of extra difficulty to their home program. And just like any other push-up, it's going to work on your, your pushing strength, which in the golf swing you know, helps you fire through a ball faster. Right, so let's go see how it's done. So the decline push-up, a variation to an already tough exercise. Mm -hmm. So we, target, we're, we talked about how it's going to target some different muscles and benefit your golf swing. So take us through how someone can do this at home. Sure. The decline push-up is not a beginner's exercise. This is um, only to be done if you can do a regular push-up with good form and tempo. Once you can and you want to look or you want to change up your routine a little bit and create a little more variation, make it a little more challenging, grab a chair and you're going to get down on the floor as if you were doing a regular push-up, but then put your feet up on the chair. The biggest thing is that you keep that stability in your trunk and that you maintain that nice flat position. So again, no sagging, no raising your butt up, and you're just coming down at the, at the same tempo that we always do, three, two, one, and then explode back up. Three, two, one, explode back up. What this exercise does is obviously make the push-up more challenging, but it forces a little more stability of the shoulders, forces you to really stabilize with your trunk. So that helps your golf swing by, again, creating more power and uh, connection between your trunk and your upper body as you strike through the golf ball. It's simple and it works. And I want to thank our good friend, Jeff Palazzaro, our fitness expert from Elevated Performance, for being with us today.